Hey YouTube, um, today I'm going to be showing you actually how to control your iPod Touch and or iPhone screen with your computer. And um, <clears throat> if you've seen any, any of my previous videos, um, such as how to how to download torrents, uh, no computer, just iPod, then um, you can see that I actually captured, or I'm using my screen, my iPod screen on my computer and I'm like, I'm doing screen capture with the whole thing and this is going to teach you actually how to do that now first thing you're going to need to, need to be jailbroken and if you're on the 3.1 firmware and you haven't jailbroken that yet um, go over into my channel and um, look for how to jailbro jailbreak 3.1 firmware for Windows no 1600 error nothing like that um, it's official everybody loves it just go check it out sorry about that now um, after it is jailbroken go into Cydia and um, just let it load up and once it loads up we're going to get actually just one program that's all we're gonna need um, and this program is called VNC but I'll, I'll show you how to spell it because it's kinda spelled weird Um, Alright, now this might take a while, so I'll come back when it's done. Alright, now that it's all loaded up, um, you're going to want to go down here into search. Go down into search, and go up here, and type V E E N C Y. There, it should pop up right there, V E E N C Y. Just click on it, then click install. Click confirm and let it update or let it download it, update itself. And then after this is done, I'm going to show you what you need to do um, to get it all good and working and everything. Alright, this should not take that long. And uh, if, if you guys are into this kind of. Yeah, when this loads up, just click restart Springboard. But as I was saying, um, if you guys are into these kind of videos, then. Um, don't forget to subscribe because I do a lot of these such as Windows hacks, um, iPod hacks, stuff like that. And um, go check out my channel because I, I got a lot of cool videos that you guys might be interested in. That's my ceiling. If you guys can see it in the background, that's my ceiling. I kind of messed it up. I was breaking shit. Alright, now that's all loaded up just uh you will not find an icon for it on your ipod at all so do not worry if you installed it right just don't worry now uh we're going to switch over to my screen capture and um i'll show you how to actually use the or how to get the ipod or the vnc firmware onto your computer so you can connect them via wi-fi all right hey guys um now what we're going to do is we're going to download the server that you're going to be using on your windows or mac computer to control your ipod touch and or iphone on uh, its screen on the computer so just go into your browser this is my channel go check it out um and just go um well you don't actually have to do this i will have a link in the description for um for the download for it so do not worry I will have a uh, just go to the link and download whatever version it's for you so just click this one you don't have to worry about any of this and right here um, this will be for all you for everybody except for Mac users I believe you have to actually go to Google and get the Mac version but I'll do that for you so don't worry now I'm just gonna get uh, the download executable version just click accept and then click download it'll say save there and all it's all done just run it now you're gonna wanna have both these in checked and this one as full installation not anything else full installation and just click next uh, I'm not gonna create a start menu folder then you're gonna need to have this checked this checked and this checked Make sure they're all checked except that one box that wasn't checked. 
All right, this one when it says VNC password, I and thought to authentication, authentication, whatever it is, click configure, and then just type in a password of your choice, and then click OK. Then pretty much you're done. Just click next, finish. Now um, I'm running on Vista, so I just have to go to all programs and just scroll down to the real VNC it should say VNC viewer and run VNC viewer now what you're gonna wanna do is uh, your iPod should automatically come up in here but if it hasn't um, you're gonna wanna go into all programs the real VNC viewer go right there and then click run VNC viewer again and it should this box should be empty and you just type in your Wi-Fi code S or your iPod touches IP address so once you do that uh, it should be right here and then this should say always off just click OK then on your iPod it should say um, it should say accept accept incoming connection uh, let me check mine real quick. Oh, I, I know it's wrong. I'm not connected on my Wi-Fi network. I'm connected via LAN. So uh, let me just connect to my Wi-Fi real quick. This will just take a second. Now, as you can see, I'm connected. Now I'll just go back to all programs. Uh, Real VNC. VNC viewer. Click it. Then I'll click OK. Now it shall ask me to join. Hold on a second, let me let me redo that. I wasn't actually my iPad wasn't actually connected. Alright, I'm back. Um, sorry about that. I just went into my iPod and it reconfigured its own IP address. And um, So just go up here, just highlight everything and type in 192.168.1 and then whatever is after that point .1 in your uh, IP address. So I'm going to type in point .6 and then click OK for my iPod. And on my iPod it says accept or reject. I'll just click accept and there we go. It pops up with this now um, to get back home you do have to actually press the home button on the iPod but if you're like doing stuff you can actually um, scroll through your iPod with your finger and then it'll show up on there or you can take the mouse that is given to you and scroll yourself and it'll go it'll work on your iPod now uh, yeah that's how you to control your screen uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe thanks